Welcome back to SnowRunner, everybody. So I had to rebuy this freaking truck again because for some reason, like, I do not load my game until the mod browser is loaded. And I usually go into the mod browser and make sure all the mods are loaded before I load my game. I loaded the game. It didn't say no mods were loaded, blah, blah, blah. Uh, got into the game. My 605R was just gone. And, like, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure you lose the money you spent on the modded truck when that happens. And it's just extremely frustrating. Like, not that it's a big deal because I have, you know three and a half million dollars so like it doesn't really matter but it's just so annoying dude i just don't understand why it does that if it's not this truck it's the mastodon like it's it's just so frustrating i just ugh, it's irritating as all hell i used to get into this habit of like i would go into the mod browser and disable and then re-enable them just to make sure that they're enabled and I stopped doing it because, like, it hasn't happened in a while, but it's been happening again lately. Almost every time I play, one of my trucks is gone. And, like, you know, you can say, like, that's what you get for playing with mods, blah, 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 whatever. But, I don't know, it's just, I just feel like there should be a better way for the game to save your mods. Or at least, if it does remove it, like, you get refunded all the money you spent on it. Like, that's how it should work, but I don't know if it... It may work that way, I don't know. All I know is, it pisses me off. Alright. Can I drive across that? You think it's too deep? It looks pretty fucking deep. <laughs> or a submarine. That wasn't bad at all. You know, sometimes I always forget to mention, like, I made a tips video for, like, new players for Michigan around when Season 10 came out, because I figured there'd be a lot of new players, and also because it's on PlayStation Plus Extra, so, you know, people are playing it that had never bought the game before, and I always forget to say that, like, like, there's tips that I always think of that I feel like would be really good for, like, new players to know. And I just always forget to mention them, and then I think about them later. But, like, you can pack a piece of cargo even if the crane is still attached. Uh, it's just a little nice piece of information to know if you're, like, trying to, like... Because you can stack things on top and then still pack them and they'll get packed properly. But, like, sometimes it's just hard to keep something on top if you let go with the crane. So, like, you can literally... Make sure I'll do it here. Like, I can just set this on top of this crate and like say for instance this was like a hay bale or something where it's round and it it won't like sit still you can just leave it like that and I can just hit um, unpack and then pack and it just packs it and then you just restore your crane so it's a, it's a neat little piece of information to know if you did not know that um, I meant to put it in my tips video I just totally forgot about it Oh, shit. We went a little deep. Uh... Come on. Let's not do that. Thank God I have that. <laughs> this is a modded truck and I have an autonomous winch. Jesus. I went across fine the one spot, but it's a little deep there and I don't think we can do it. So we're just going to go over here to the road and just loop back over. 
Oh god, there's stumps. Don't do it to me, please. I hate stumps, man. Alright. Uh, I've never actually gone across this since I've repaired it, so we'll see how it is. It's, I feel like it's going to be about how the one was in uh, Heartlands. Well, actually, it's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, that's way nice. Alright, sweet. How do we get over there? Uh, we're just really just gonna cut through this way. We should be able to do it just fine. I really want to get this region done, like, so bad. I just... It's gonna take a couple more episodes at least. But, like, I want to get it done. I want to move on. I know I'm always like that at, towards the end of a region, but I'm just so done with this region. Like, the four map regions just take forever. And, like, from a gameplay point, like, yeah, it's it's great that there's a lot of content, but I just didn't enjoy this region, like, at all. Like, the maps are fine, but the farming just made it so bad and so unenjoyable, and I just want it to be over with. I just want my 100%, and I just want to move on to Canada. Because, like I've said before, I've played a little bit of that map. Not on this save file, but just on one of my other save files with one of my friends. So, I do have a little bit... Where is the entrance? I do have a little bit of um, experience on that map. Not a lot. We didn't do a whole lot, but... We played it for a good, you know, couple hours. And did some things. It's pretty neat. So I'm excited to do that. It's really cool at nighttime when you go through like the burn forest area. It's all like, there's like embers on the ground. It's really cool looking. All right. So there we go, that's done. And then let's do this one, which this one is just right down here, basically where we just were. Uh, we can probably get there. I guess the way we just came, just go back that way. I don't really want to cross that water. It was hard enough. This just comes to the airport too. I am going to need that trailer. Actually, no. You know what? The the windmill, or the turbine blade probably spawns when you are ready for it. So I don't think I need that trailer. Once we get this done, there aren't any more tasks available. There are still a couple tasks, but I don't, I can't do them. They're locked behind something else. At least they're not appearing on the map, so that that tells me that they're locked behind a contract, most likely. So once we get this done, we'll do one of those contracts, probably chicken coop because that one keeps popping up, and I believe uh, some of the cargo I need is from the airport, so it'll work out, because we're going to be right at the airport. put the wrong gearbox in this whenever I have to rebuy it. I always forget which gearbox is the best. I like the six speed one and I always forget which one that is. Oh god. Alright, let's um pull this out. Repair. Oh, it's a freaking royal. 
That truck is actually decent. Um, but it flips a lot when you have like the big tires on it. I used to use it a lot. I want to get that out of the way because it's like right in the middle of the road so let's pull this over oh I can't drive that really all right well never mind I thought I could drive it, but I guess I can't. It's weird. I just repaired it for no fucking reason then. Unless there's a task for it, which there might be. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's pop this in the trailer if we can. See, this is an instance where... Ah, oh, no. Well, that'll pack. No? Really? This will definitely pack. There we go. <sighs> I don't understand why I can't drive that freaking Royal. I thought I could, but it's not. It doesn't even show up on the map as a truck, which is strange. Usually it'll show up gray, but it's not even doing that. trailer is just like in the way like it's right in the middle of the road it sucks okay we're gonna go back the way we came deliver these and then yeah, we got plenty of time to do other stuff as well it's literally annoying as hell on. Why is this freaking pole right here? And like, why am I getting stuck on it with the trailer? Oh my god, I'm freaking... What is happening? Why is it getting stuck on it? Maybe one of the tasks is for that royal, I don't know. It just seems strange that there's just a random truck flipped over with a trailer that it clearly was attached to, and then you can't... You can fix it, but you can't use it. It's strange. I guess it's not uncommon, though. It's not the first time I've come across a truck in this game that I can't actually use. I'm just randomly on the map. It's 
don't flip, please. I really don't want to roll over. Before I leave here. Alright, let's see what happens when I turn this in. Maybe this will unlock something. Yeah, see there's not there's no other tasks on the map. Alright, so medium planks, metal rolls is what we need. Um, I believe we get the medium planks here and the metal rolls are from the warehouse. Let's refuel though. Alright, and then let's go grab these planks. Actually, where do we, they need to be delivered there? Oh, there aren't metal rolls here. What? There's metal beams there. I guess shit. Oh, it sucks. Alright, so we gotta go to Heartlands to get... That's a nice touch that they have a light on that flag. I like that. Um, best way to go is this road. So yeah, we're gonna have to go get... Hopefully I have a truck somewhere else that I can just use. I don't know that I do. I know I have another, because that, um, that Tega that I brought over here with the logs is a different Tega than the one I had with the fuel tank on it. So I have another Tega somewhere. So I'll probably just use that to get a trailer on it and pick up stuff. See if I need anything else. I can grab the whatever else I need and bring those over as well. the fields. I should be able to do that no problem.
Yeah, this is a, the really, a really slow gearbox. I need a different gearbox for sure. Not a fan. Another issue is I have to farm on this map I'm pretty sure and there's I don't think any farming equipment here so like you have to bring all of it over there's no trailer store oh, that fucking sucks dude <sighs> all right so I need metal rolls let's go to heartlands which is where I can get them from the production site um, what trucks do I have here? I do have a Kenworth. I do have the Tega. It's over here. And it has a log trailer on it. The trailer store is right there. You know, let's just use this Tega. That's the best choice. So otherwise... We'll just sell this trailer, and I'll just put a semi-trailer on here, I don't really care. I think I have the wrong gearbox in this as well. Sell you, and I just need a might as well get the six slot. turn radius, although it is, you know, a very long setup here. Okay. Now the metal rolls. I guess I could check and see if there's anything else I need, but I'm only going to be able to fit Depending on the cargo size, one or two other pieces of cargo, so I don't know. I'll check though and see if there's anything else. Let's 
truck tends to get stuck in this part. I pulled those logs through here. There's four sets of medium logs with the semi-trailer and then the um, log trailer winched behind it. And it, it, Tega did great other than this crossing and then there's a real muddy area right before the Heartland or the Heartlands, the Harvest Work Gateway. And uh, it got stuck there. Wow, I just got myself stuck. Uh, I got stuck there, and that was probably the worst. I uh, I was stuck there for a good 15 minutes trying to get out, and I finally got free. Oh, it was bad, though. truck here for this generator anymore. I just realized that. I thought I was done with this, but clearly I was not. It's fine. I'll just detach and See if there's anything else we need that we can't get. Oh, that's uh, I would assume that truck and trailer. Yeah. Okay, that's there. It is then. Um. So that's what that is. Bulk loading. That's the potatoes. Keep refrigerated. Metal beams you can get there. Vehicle spare parts you can get there, I believe. Wait, no. Deliver two. Uh. Yeah. I guess let's. I mean, it's going to take forever to get there, though. That's the problem. But I could, I could get them and not have to come back here then, I think. So it might be worth doing 
We are already at 30 minutes though, so I think we're just gonna take this back and finish this off. I'll try to avoid long drives for that. Like I'll um I'll prepare that and I'll come get it so that we have it on Harvest Court. Probably do something like that. Cause I gotta get this all the way back to the freaking chicken coop and that's gonna take at least 10 minutes. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. And if I would drive all the way over there, that's just gonna take way too long. Cause like, this truck's not slow, but it's not really fast either. I don't have the right gearbox in it, so it's not the best. And it does tend to get stuck sometimes on this map in spots. Like it goes really slow through here. I don't know why. I mean, I, I know why, but it's just... This is best just to stay in low plus here so we stay at a constant speed instead of constantly downshifting. I got stuck here when I was um, pulling those logs. It's just like really muddy right there. I'm gonna try to avoid this mud pit up here because it's bad. Let me make it daytime so I can see. Jesus. <laughs> Much brighter. Okay. stay up here as long as there's no stumps here because that mud pit is awful that's where I got stuck with the uh, all those logs it was such a bitch to get through if I would have gone that route like that it would have been so much easier It shouldn't take too much longer. It's, I'd say it'd probably take about five minutes, so that's probably about right, about the time it's gonna take. Because we just have to follow the road, really. Yeah, it does look like, because that's that truck, and then that trailer with the turbine blade, so. Maybe once I deliver it to that warehouse, that's when that opens up, I don't know. See, that's... Oh yeah, this is, we're actually really close. I don't, I just don't know where these other tasks are. It's kind of confusing, I guess they just have it unlocked yet.
I'm gonna have to, I'll probably take my Mastodon on and put the high saddle on it. There is a garage here, so I can just uh, go to the garage, put the high saddle on, come over so I can attach that trailer and then just tow the Royal. If I, I wish I could, I wish they were attached together. Like I wish the Royal was still attached to the trailer. Cause that would just make it easier. I could just tow it with any truck. Then. the best way to get there probably cutting right through here could be risky but it is also going to be a huge time saver so not always the best plan in snow runner because most of the time you try to do something short and take a shortcut, you end up flipping, rolling your truck, dumping all your cargo out into a river, having to fish it all out. I don't have a crane on this truck, so like, it would be a whole ordeal, but that looked pretty safe to me, so. And it was pretty successful. As long as the part of this field is in the mud hole, we should be okay. We are sinking a little bit, it looks like. It's definitely muddy. Apiaries. I think so. They're fucking huge. God, this truck's turn radius is not very good. I never realized how bad the turn radius was. Maybe it's only like that when you have a semi-trailer on it? I don't know. Which is very bad. Alright, built a chicken coop. Alright. So yeah, now we gotta deliver the truck in that trailer so that'll be the next thing we do in the next episode we're gonna get our thing here we'll probably just drive to the garage leave the trailer there and then we will go or we'll put a high saddle on uh, and go attach this trailer and drag the truck over to the warehouse yeah so hope you enjoyed Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.